guys, this is the third time I'm trying to record this, by the way, because my throat chakra is kind of a mess. <laughs> Just a heads up. Uh, guys, this is the Crystal Monthly Healing video for October Part 1. So this will be for Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Vir Leo always comes to me like, like, like what? what's after Cancer? Oh yeah, duh, Leo. And then Virgo. Uh, the other six signs will be in part two, which the link will be down below if you guys would like to just view it and just have it be convenient, okay? For those who are new to my channel or new to these kind of videos that I do, uh, I basically use this deck, the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. It's an awesome little deck. Uh, for those who like their crystals or like to do crystal work, these cards can also be used in lieu of the actual crystal if, you, if it's a hard one to find or a rare one to get, okay? So basically, I pull uh, cards to see what crystals are recommended for you for the month of October. Then I pull tarot cards very briefly just to see why you need those crystals it i don't go too in depth guys it's just usually five to ten minutes or so as to why you need that crystal and no matter how many times i do these videos i always read the descriptions of the crystals i always do that because we get new people first of all that don't really know too much about crystals sometimes people who are kind of new to the community um but also so that you guys can decipher if you really need these crystals or not and i do that because these are very very general readings not all of these crystals will be recommended for every single Aries or Aqua or whoever, right, on the planet. So it's up to you to decipher if you really need these crystals. No sense in going out and buying crystals if you don't need them, right? Right. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started for Aries. Mm, I love that sound. What crystals do my Aries need for the month of October? What crystals do my Aries need for the month of October? Aries, just right out the bat, like right out the bat, Jesus. My throat shock was all over the place. I'm talking funny today. Uh, I can't speak English today for whatever reason. Aries, I do feel a need to communicate for some of you. And I do feel there's a little bit of a tower moment associated with that. We'll see if the tower comes out. But I do feel a conversation that needs to be had here, okay? Most definitely. I also am getting like a cloudy, foggy feeling. Some of you guys, your intuition might be really off. Or you might not be, be seeing a situation clearly. I feel like that's almost two different groups of Aries. But we'll see what comes out. We'll see what comes out, okay? What crystals do Aries need for the month of October? What crystals do my Aries need for the month of October? What crystals do my Aries need for the month of October? What crystals? Let's see here. Ooh, pretty. Bumblebee Jasper. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm feeling crown energy with that, which is interesting. Because, like, at first, like, I was getting, oh, lower chakras, and then I felt my head just almost explode. And I was like, oh, shit, okay, upper chakras, like crown energy. I am feeling crown energy, but I wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, I'm getting sacral too. Hold on a second. Ooh, I'm getting information. Slow down, slow down. Um, Aries, either you or someone you're connected to has a really um, high sex drive or throws a lot of sexual energy your way or you throw a lot of sexual energy their way and it makes them a little confused okay it kind of it's like it's hard to hard to think straight hard to think straight okay hard to think straight Let's see here ooh ro rhodochrosite i'm not great at pronouncing names of crystals guys just a heads up i'm not that great at it so if i mispronounce it i mispronounce it but so far you have two crystals ro rodo rhodochrosite and bumblebee jasper Okay, let's see what other crystals want to come out for you guys, and we'll go ahead and read the descriptions. Any other crystals for Aries for the month of October? Any other crystals for Aries for the month of October? Oh, that's it. Just the two. Okay, not too bad. That usually is a sign that it ain't too much stuff going on for you, Aries. But let me go ahead and read Bumblebee Jasper to you. Ooh. Trust. <laughs> Trust. Bumblebee Jasper's startling colors instill a new vibration. The stone stimulates new projects, bringing you the message that you must have honesty in your life. Mm. <laughs> Aries. You are a divine being with immense inner riches holding the bright, energizing light of the sun. You are born to carry out a specific task. Charismatic, yes you are, you naturally, you naturally attract people. You have inner strength and courageously go where others do not dare. Harvest your resources and put them to work to heal dis-ease. A moment of fertilization. You are being open to new possibilities. Remember that the bee is not aerodynamically designed to fly, but it does. Cut through doubt and uncertainty. Relax and focus. Clear sight is needed. What did I say? Clear sight is needed. Visualize your future. Ooh, love and good fortune rush toward you. Oh, Aries, I like it. 
Grasp opportunities. Be a leader, but avoid arrogance. Trust the universe. You overcome obstacles. Someone new lights up your life. Oh, Aries, I like that. Food intolerances and other allergies may underlie any physical discomfort you experience. Oh, okay. The frequency of the stone is earthy, and it's great for the sacral. But a lot of sacral energy on this on you guys. And the solar plexus. It's great for Leos, Virgos, and Saggies, and for triumphing over the impossible. Like being too attracted to somebody. <laughs> I'm just saying, Aries, I think that's really happening for some of you. Where you're almost too attracted to someone or someone's too attracted to you. And it's hard to see. Right? You need clarity. Hard to see. Okay. Rhodochrosite. Ooh, the heart reviver. Rhodochrosite teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down. <laughs> Aries, I love you. I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with you. I love you. Dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns, it offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or unappreciated. A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates disease, or you may have misused or feared your sexual power in the past. You may be repressing something you do not want to face. Irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experiences rather than seeing the negative effects. Check out whether what you were taught in childhood is still relevant to the person you are today. Releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the heart, the solar, the base, and the sacral. Uh, it's great for uh, Leos, Virgos, and Libras, and for radiating unconditional love and selfless compassion. Aries, this is definitely for love and sex. Definitely sex. I'm just saying. I'm just calling it. I felt that. It's definitely sex related, okay? All right, Aries. Let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. Why do my Arians need these crystals? Why do my Arians need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Aries need these crystals for the month of October? Oh, Aries, I feel really strongly. This is like really needing to either get over some heartbreak that's affected you sexually or some sexual trauma or just getting more and more comfortable with your sexual power here with someone in particular because either you or this person like can't get enough of you or the other you know what I mean it's like I'm just uh, I can barely talk it's a lot of sexual attraction I'm getting a lot of sexual attraction here and there's something about it that I think overwhelms you or overwhelms the person okay I think a conversation does need to be had though I'm just saying, I'm just saying. why do my errands need these crystals for the month of October one more okay Why do my Aries? <laughs> I just heard sexual freedom. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Oh, why do my Aries need these crystals for the month of October? Oh, fire. Fire. Oh, 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 and water. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Five of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, Ten of Wands in reverse, Sag Energy, and King of Wands in reverse, Leo Energy could also be fire or air. I feel a lot of repressed. Uh, sexual energy here because someone's sad someone feels like they lost something someone is still hurting over a loss of a relationship or a loss of good times either way I feel a lot of pent-up sexual fiery energy here Aries I gotta be honest I do feel like this is you I feel like you have someone trying to come in here Aries again this could be vice versa but I feel like you have someone trying to come in here but you're kind of still mourning the past a little bit and you have got a lot of sexual energy that's being repressed. Let's see what else we've got for you guys. Again, this can be vice versa. Why do my Arians need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Arians need these crystals for the month of October? <laughs> looky, looky, page of cups, a love offer. I like it, I like it, Aries. Yeah, your back is turned to this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm seeing it. Your back is turned to this love offer. You're focusing way too much on the past and it's like there's fun to be had there's fun to be had you got new love coming in here very sincere as well and the, and the sexual energy is off the chain why do my aries need these crystals 
look at all this fire page of wands in reverse they're trying really hard to get your attention aries there's so much flirty energy here but aries you're really focused on the past and your past heartache <laughs> high priestess piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader it's it's funny because it's like because you guys aren't engaging in it that sexual energy is building mm. it's building under the surface like a dirty little secret <laughs> sorry it's kind of fun but aries you got to get out of this five of cups energy you got to turn around you got to turn around and look remember what's behind them the two of cups you have someone coming in here trying to show you love and passion but there's so much like it's pent up because they can't give it to you because you're not open to receiving it sorry my mind went the gutter for a minute you both want it and it's just gonna build and i think you're going to get to a point where you're going to explode unless you talk about it or address it. Overall, we have the world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Charles, Capricorn underneath that. Oh, a queen of wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water with the knight of pentacles. So very single person, very stable person. And look, we've got the king and queen of wands. Got a true pair situation. Soulmate at the very, very least here. This person really wants you. You really want this person. This is a very fiery, passionate couple. They want to give it to you. They're trying to give it to you. But because you're not open to receiving it, it's getting repressed, but it will explode, okay, if it's not addressed. All right, I'm just, just the messenger. It's kind of sexy, though. Very sexy. Okay, Taurus. Taurus. Let's go ahead and look at Taurus. What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of October? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of October? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of October? What crystals do my Taurians need for the month of October? What crystals? Ooh, we have smoky quartz over here. Okay, interesting. Ooh, Taurus. Hmm. Why do I feel scorpionic energy around here? So you guys be going through a transformation here, a little bit of a transformation. I do feel healing coming in. It feels so Scorpionic. You have a deal with a Scorpio, you could be um, channeling your inner Scorpio because it is your natural complement, your natural seventh here. Oh, I can't say this one. Um, purpurite. <laughs> Why does this sound so weird? Purpurite. Sound like, I, I feel like I sound like Medea. Purpurite. Okay. All right. So let's see what other crystals you got for you, Taurus. Any other crystals for my Taurians for the month of October? What other crystals do my Taurians need for the month of October? Yeah, I thought I felt healing with this. Golden healer. Uh, some of you, this is definitely just like spiritual growth here, but I, I feel like, are you being challenged? Sorry, I'm picking up something intuitively. Whatever, whatever situation you're finding yourself in in the month of October, it's quite a challenge here, Taurus. Again, I'm, hear I'm hearing Scorpio. They're practically screaming it at me. Um, it's a bit of a challenge, and you're channeling Scorpionic energy. You could be dealing with straight-up Scorpio, but it's allowing you to heal some stuff and go through a little bit of a transformation here. It is a challenge, though. You're finding it difficult. And you do have three crystals. So let's go ahead and read these in order. Smoky Quartz S Celestial, transmutational magic, a stone for karmic healing, smoky quartz celestial opens into different dimensions and brings powerful transmutation. You have a powerful survival instinct and ability to go where others dare not. Transmute the past, realize that darkness is not evil. Facing your deepest fears turns these into golden gifts. You know that the death that death, excuse me, is only a transformation into another state of being. Take responsibility for your life, don't let others take control. Be patient. Much stirs beneath a calm surface. Total transformation is close. It may entail a trip into the underworld. What did I say about that Scorpionic energy? Uh, your, sh <clears throat> excuse me, your shadow becomes your brightest gift. Toxic emotions turn into positive regard. Ground your efforts in the everyday, but retain contact with higher realms. Success comes through dedication and trust in your abilities. Mentors are available. Release yourself from old enchantments. No part of you is evil or bad. Embracing your shadow leads you to healing hidden, healing hidden in the darkest reaches of yourself. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the earth star, the base, the sacral, the soul star, and the stellar gateway. Great for Scorpios. <laughs> Scorpios and Capricorns and for total transmutation. Oh my Taurus. Oh my. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do purple, right? 44, right? Yeah, 44. Okay. Purple, right? Ooh. The curse clear. Taurus, what the hell? What the hell? Are you a Scorpio this month? What's going on? <laughs> Extremely effective for psychic and aura protection. Purple right grounds high frequency energy, harmonizing the physical body to the new vibration. It helps you to break away from self-destructive or self-limiting behavior. I feel like some of you guys are going through awakening. Sorry, they're just giving me that. Some of you guys are definitely going through an awakening. Ah, uh, you've been triggered. You've been triggered. You've been triggered. And some of you have been triggered by a Scorpio. Okay. Whew. Helps you break away from self-destructive or self-limiting behavior, energizing the physical and mental bodies. It overcomes tiredness, apathy, and despondency. Old habits and patterns, including those inherited from ancestors, may keep you mired in the past. Subtle energetics, energetics, okay, that sounds weird. Subtle energetics of ancient curses or ill wishing could be affecting you. These may be personal or passed down through the family line. You may be open to mental influence from others. Be open to new ways to heal. Protect yourself appropriately, but do not, but do not be overly defensive. Check out whether you have inadvertently offended anyone. If so, make reparation where possible. If not, send unconditional love and forgiveness without needing to know why or where. Healing insight. This past, uh, the past creates the present, but the past can be repaired and the present healed. Ah, that's a tongue twister. Let me say that again. The past creates the present, but the past can be repaired and the present healed. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateways and for the root chakra and great for dealing with past life trauma. It's also great for uh, being a lineage breaker. Some of you are dealing with generational curses. Definitely. And with Golden Healer, I believe there's some ancestral energy attached to this next crystal as well. Okay. Oh, yep. Ultimate healing. Golden Healers are imbued with powerful trans... trans Jesus. <laughs> I want my throat chakra to start working. <laughs> Golden healers are imbued with powerful trans transformative <laughs> transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely going through an awakening here. Some of you have definitely been activated. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bound by five senses expanded by a six, metaphysics. But this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local, everywhere and nowhere at once where there is no time. You create the event by you create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. Interesting, Taurus. Some of you guys will be going through an ego healing. Some people people some people refer to it as ego death. I refer to it as an ego healing. Okay. Recognize your potential to be an amazing healer. Your abilities needed honing, and those who heal are soul scored score to develop empathy. Much in your life needs transforming. Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may have asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task. Do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the soul star and stellar gateway and aligns and cleanses all the chakras. Great for any time of day and any time of year and for channeling the Christ consciousness. So again, I'm going to hold these up because you do have three. Smoky Quartz Celestial. Purpurite, purpurite, sorry, <laughs> being silly, and golden healer. <clears throat> Let me get water. <laughs> sorry, guys. Are we in focus? We're in focus. There we go. Mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. Hmm. I already can see the death card in my in my mind's eye. I can already see the death card. Why do my Torians need these crystals for the month of October? Yeah, some of you guys are going through. Oh God, they're giving me all kinds of terms. Uh, some of you are going to be going through a dark night of the soul, some a spiritual awakening, some an ascension. A lot of you have been catalyzed by someone, and if you have been catalyzed by someone, they're most likely a Scorpio or a strong Scorpionic placement. Okay. Uh, some of you guys are getting confronted by family and family traumas coming up and you need to deal with that. And that alone is already making space for you energetically and also allowing you to expand in your spirituality and on your spiritual path. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of October? One more. Why 
Why do my Taurians need these crystals? Reevaluation. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. You're taking a time out to figure out where you are and where you want to go with what you have. Yeah. Where you are and where you want to go with what you have. Ace of Wands. A lot of you are looking for a new beginning here. I feel a big change in perspective with you as well. There is something about money, though. Uh, Taurus, there's something about money. Mm, I guess you're Taurus. There's always something about money, right? <sighs> you're reevaluating your income. Trying to figure out if like, some of you are trying to figure out how to like subsidize it, like add to it, maybe taking on a second job or a second stream of income, something that doesn't require a lot of work. Some of you are also thinking about a career change. Some of you, your family needs money. Some of you, your family relies on you for money. Um, even if you don't live with them, they want me to emphasize that. Even if you don't live with them. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. Ooh, the moon. Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. And then the chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy. Some of you are wondering why you haven't had forward movement in your life and what's been holding you back. So, oh, honestly, Taurus, some of you, it's a family member. Others, it's like an ex. Or someone that, oh, yeah, someone that just has an energetic hold on you. Someone who, yeah, someone who either relies on you for money or relies on you for emotional support, emotional comfort. Some of you are getting your energy siphoned. You know who you are, if that's the case. You spend time thinking about it and you realize that's what it is. King of Wands, Leo energy could also be um, air or fire. You're ready to take action. You're ready to take action here. You're ready to take action and cause whatever change you need to cause in your life because you are reevaluating. You're ready to reinvest and take a new direction. So what else we got here? Sorry if I'm talking really fast. I'm getting downloads. It's really making my third eye hurt, actually. Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of October? Nine of Swords, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Some of you are telling off a father figure or a parental figure. Uh, telling off or just telling the truth? Telling the truth. You're just telling them. You're not giving them a say-so. Very Taurian. Not giving them a say-so. Especially when it comes to your money. If you've had to give up a lot of your money or your own resources or take care of a lot of people, you're not putting up with that shit anymore. Sorry. Oh, that came in really strong. And there you are, Taurus. King of Pentacles, Taurian energy could also be earth or air. Look at you. Look at you. You could be a gem Taurian cusper, but not necessarily. You're telling someone off. You're telling someone off. You're telling them how it's going to be. You're not going to be held back anymore. And you're going to go wherever it is you need to go. It is painful, though. Overall, we do have a Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, and a Nine of Swords, even more Gemini energy. You're breaking a lot of hearts in doing this, Taurus. You're. Some people feel let down. Some people are going to be caught off guard. But you're doing what you have to do. And it is leading to happiness. And it's leading to transformation. You're transforming your life. And you're taking on a new perspective. And you're looking at your Ten of Pentacles and where you want to go. And you're going to elevate from a King of Pentacles to an Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. You could be running your own business as well. You're raising your own status. You're raising your own status. You're not going to let people mooch off of you that don't need to mooch off of you. If you have to take care of family, you have to take care of family. But for some of you, you're telling family off because they really don't need to rely on you. They're just lazy. Some of you, this is a lover. Some of you, this is an ex. Some of you, this is even a friend. Okay. Sorry. I know they came in really fast. Sorry. <laughs> it was like, oh my God, I got to get all this out. Okay. Taurus says, I guess I'm just really tapped into you guys today. Okay. Geminis. 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 I don't know why I would say it like that, but I do. Okay. What crystals do my Geminis need? What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of October? What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of October? Mm. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh, gems. <laughs> now, I've. I'm picking up on a group of Geminis. I could get something. I could pick up on another group when we start getting cards out here. There's some Geminis who are in love. Smitten. Thank you. Some are in love. Some are just smitten. Hmm. I'm getting a sense of mystery with that too. A lot of questions. Very Geminian. So you have a lot of questions about someone that you are romantically interested in or someone. Yeah. Someone that you're romantically interested in. Someone has caught your eye. You like it, though. You like it, though. You like that mystery. What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of October? 
What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of October? One more. What crystals do my Geminis need for the month of October? You want to give this person, you're not sure you can. What is, oh, Gemini, what is this? You're not sure you can give to this person. You're intrigued. You're intrigued. You can, they're in your head though, Gemini. When you're in a Gemini's head, you're basically in their heart. Oh, let's see what we got here. Ha! Wow. So Bumblebee Jasper. So Aries had this. So for those who just clicked on the timestamp for Gemini, I don't repeat, repeat, Jesus, crystal descriptions, but Aries had this one. So go ahead and look at Aries for those who need that. I can never say this one. Herkimer. Herkimer Diamond. Herkimer. I'm silly today, guys. I don't know what's up with me. Okay. Let's see what other ones want to come out here. <laughs> what did I say about love, too? Definitely a love vibration with that. What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of October? What other crystals do my Geminis need for the month of October? Okay, that's it, guys. That's it. I will say on the bottom, we do have selenite. So there's uh, there's something very like, something about the mind with this. A lot of upper shot. Oh, that was where the camera freaked out. A lot of like upper chakra energy, tele tele uh, telepathy, telepathy here. I think they're just really in your head, Gemini. They're really in your head. They're really, really in your head. So like I said, Bumblebee Jasper is one of your crystals, but Aries had that. So go ahead and look at that one if you want the description. Let's go ahead and read um, Herkimer. Herkimer Diamond. I don't know how to say it like that. Anyway, I don't know. Okay. Oh, instant energy. Powerful energy generators that access and release past life information. Herkimer diamonds make excellent shields against geopathic stress and EMFs. This crystal works beyond the physical levels of being to of being to bring harmony to the energy to the energy bodies and the soul. Keep careful note of your dreams as they reveal the underlying causes of your disease. You may be particularly sensitive to EMF frequencies, radioactivity, and detrimental earth energies. You may also be physically sensitive and need to hear need to clear a blocked third eye. So that's when I was getting that third eye energy. Uh, check that you are not living on a negative earth energy line. You may be addicted to your tablet or mobile phone and receiving detrimental vibes therefrom. Screen yourself appropriately. High, this high vibration, high impact energy can dramatically change your world. The frequency of the stone is extremely high. It's great for all chakras and for seeing the light and truth. Gems, like I said, you're in your head about somebody. A romantic interest, most definitely. Someone you got a lot of questions about. Someone you're trying to figure out. You're trying to figure them out and like it's almost that like a fun game for you. Because you're trying to figure them out, you kind of like that you have to figure them out. You kind of like that. You kind of like that. There's also a lot of sexual energy here as well. Uh, Gemini's just enjoy it. I'm just saying. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Why did my... Oh. Okay. Drop some cards. We didn't start yet, so I'm not counting them. I think one of them was the Two of Swords in reverse, so we'll see if it comes out again. But what is that? That's about getting clear-headed, right? Making decisions, making judgments about someone. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of October? You can also definitely have a past life with this person, and that could be coming up for you, or you can just sense while this person's really familiar for some reason. It could also be the case. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of October? One more. Okay. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of October? <laughs> Hermit in reverse Virgo energy because you're trying to figure some shit out. <laughs> You're trying to figure this person out. You're trying to figure out how to handle the situation. We have an empress on the bottom, by the way. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine mask, divine feminine energy. Oh, that's interesting. Divine feminine energy. Ew. Seven of swords, Aquarian energy. You're trying to figure out if this person's legit or not. You're trying to figure out if this person's deceiving you. Interesting, Gemini. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of October? Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra energy could also be air or water. You're, there's some, yeah, your third eye might be blocked. 
your third eye might be blocked, your crown might be blocked. I'm getting that you're not exactly tapped into your intuition with this, which is why you're trying to figure out if someone is who they say they are. Yeah, you're trying to figure out if someone is who they say they are. You can't figure it out. There's something blocking you. Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of October? Oh, there's another block. Eight of Wands in reverse Sagittarian energy. You're definitely blocked here from trying to figure it out. You suspect that they're that they're up to something, but you're just not sure. You're just not sure. You can't confirm it. But you really like them, I can tell. Why do my Geminis need these crystals? Sorry, I just saw a spirit. <laughs> Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of October? All right. Oh, Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Because you want to be released from the confusion. You want to know for sure. You want to know for sure. But you know what? You're going to find out. Because look, on the bottom, we have Temperance in reverse with the Six of Pentacles. You will find balance in the situation. You will get unblocked. You will have uh, clear ways of seeing, clear ways of thinking. This is also someone who can't really think straight. They're not thinking straight. You're not seeing straight. Not seeing a situation for what it is. Um, and I do feel illusion with this as well. I do feel illusion with this. You Honestly, Gemini's, you could be looking for something that's not there. That could also be the case where it's a little bit of like mistrusting energy. Oh, I, oh, Gemini's, this person's too good to be true. Some of you might feel that way. Some of you might feel that way about this person, whoever it is you're thinking about. But I can tell. It's like there's a lot of attraction here, but I think that's why you're also so mistrusting. Like, why am I so attracted to this person? What is it I'm not seeing about them? What are they really up to? You're going to find that balance and you're going to figure it out, whatever it is. Whether there's something there to worry about or whether there's not anything to worry about. Okay? All right. Let's go for Cancer. Just wanted to know who that was. <laughs> okay. Cancers. What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of October? What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of October? What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of October? What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of October? Mm. Cancer, why do I feel like you're all over the place? <sighs> Cancer, you're in your emotions and it's kind of making you all over the place. You could be experiencing a lot of mood swings, Cancer. Just saying. No judgment. No judgment, but you could be. Definitely could be. It's very Cancerian trait. What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of October? What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of October? What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of October? What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of October? Got a twofer. What do we have here? Ooh, we've got Bloodstone and... Priscelli Blue Stone. Ooh, very nice. Cancer, watch your health. What is this about the health? Getting something about circulation. Watch your blood pressure and watch your circulation here, okay? Um, I don't know if that's coming in so strong. I, I don't always pick up stuff about health, but that, that's coming in really strong for some reason, Cancer. Um, you could just be having a lot of stress in your life. And like I said, I was feeling a lot of emotion and it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of making you all over the place. I think you're dealing with some anxiety. Yeah, I think you're dealing with some anxiety. It could be raising your blood pressure, so just be mindful of that. What other crystals do my cancers need for the month of October? What other crystals do my cancers need for the month of October? Let's see what we got here. Ooh, malachite. I love malachite cancer. Are you dealing with love too? What's going on here? Malachite's a very sexual card. That's like all sacral. That's all sacral. Um, sorry, I just love that stone. So I'm like really happy to see it out for you guys. So let's go ahead and read these so you guys can decide if you need these crystals for yourself. Bloodstone, perseverance. Bloodstone has always had a powerful connection with maintaining vitality, regulating menstruation, and staunching blood loss, as well as purifying the kidneys. You are a magical being. Um... Your family and your environment. Wait, what is it? I don't know that word. Embarrassing. It's just true. Uh, an amalgam? 
an amalgam, that's a word, of your individuality, your family, and your environment. Let go of the past. Look closely at your ancestral line. Recognize toxic patterns subconsciously ruining your life. Whoa, wow. Break away and be strong. You may be unnecessarily aggressive or defensive. Oh, there's the mood swings. Acknowledge mistakes and let inner disharmonies be transmuted. Detoxification and chaos precede transmutation. Perseverance is needed. Locked doors open. Obstacles are swept away and romance blossoms. I have the feeling you guys would know love too. Preserve your good reputation. Recognize your enemies and keep them close. Do not be deceived. A farewell is called for. Mourn, appropriate, mourn appropriately and let go. You are a spiritual warrior, but be assertive. Nourish your blood and revitalize your whole body. The frequency of the stone is earthy. Purifies and al aligns all the lower chakras. Great for Aries, Libras, and Pisceans. And for freedom from the past. Wow, Cancer. Okay. All right, let's keep it going. Priscelli Blue Stone, the inner compass. Priscelli Blue Stones planted healing energies from the land of the ancestors into a sacred healing landscape. The stone assesses past, present, and future. You are an ancient shaman who has much wisdom to impart and the ability to journey through multiple dimensions in search of healing. You have unshakable core stability and an inner compass that directs you with integrity. Use natural medicine for ailments. Pay attention to your boundaries. Dig deep into the past, access your memories, and cut yourself free. Examine your deepest intentions and roots. Live in the present moment. Find your own direction and face challenges with um, equanimity. Equanimity. You have power to decide. Pay particular attention to your environment. Being true to yourself is the basis of all well-being, spiritual and physical. <coughs> Excuse me. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for the earth star. And it's great for Torians, Sagis, and Cappies, and for developing a spiritual compass. Oh, wow. Cancer, it seems like you're going to be going through a lot in October. Okay? Um, I just heard, don't lose your way. Don't lose your way. Malachite, the subconscious mind. Malachite brings to light ingrained programming and toxic beliefs. An amulet against pain. This is a powerful stone for emotional trans transformation. It stimulates the survival instinct as well. Unconscious programs or beliefs cause psychosomatic disease. Go willingly into the depths. Therapy may be needed. Your deepest fears become your greatest gifts as hidden abilities come to light. Go where angels fear to tread to bring back insights of your own healing and that of others. Explore your depths. Danger threatens. Not all is as it seems. Stand firm in your power and have no fear. You survive. Protect yourself against unseen forces or powerful minds that manipulate you. Learn psychic protection. Take a course to call up past life skills spread your wings and do not become embroiled with a charismatic man Ooh, ooh, cancer i'm gonna read that one again <laughs> do not become embroiled with a charismatic man detoxifying your mind body and emotions and recognizing deep psychosomatic causes of disease are a pathway to well-being the frequency of the stone is earthy to high great for the heart the root the sacral and the solar plexus great for scorpios and for transforming your subconscious mind cancer wow okay let me get a little water my throat chakra is getting tight mm. Mm. okay all right so let's see why you need these stones again i'm going to hold them up because there are three <laughs> bloodstone write it down write it down Perselli Blue Stone, write it down, guys, write it down. And Malachite, these are your three stone cancers. Stones, cancers. Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? Mm. Cancer, I feel like some of you guys are dealing with some karmic cycles here. Yeah. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with karmic cycles. Um, some of you guys might get stuck in that if you don't break, excuse me, if you don't break these cycles. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like that's just some of you. Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? 
Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? Come on, Cancers, talk to me. Why do my Cancer? There we go. Thank you. Ew. Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Six of Swords reverse Aquarian energy. I feel like you got, what did I say about anxiety? Anxiety card right here. You're really struggling with something, Cancer. You're struggling to get out of a situation is actually what I'm getting. Struggling, Seven of Swords on the bottom. Struggling to get out of a situation, struggling to get away. Yeah, I really feel like some of you guys are dealing with some karmic stuff here. You got a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety here, Cancer, and you're really stressed out. Watch that blood pressure. Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? What? I'm also getting a lot of late nights. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. This is interesting because this is about building. This is about building and teamwork. Some of you are worried that someone that you're building with or someone that you consider to be a teammate or a partner of sorts doesn't have your back or is just stressing you the hell out, causing a lot of stress in your life. I do feel a lot of late nights here. I do feel like some of you guys are getting psychically attacked as well, okay? These stones will definitely help with that. Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? I feel like you guys also, I feel some of you also want to build something new. But you have to get rid of something first or get out of a situation first, again, causing a lot of anxiety. But you have the building on your mind, building new, building from the ground up on your mind. Why do my Cancerians need these stones for the month of October? Wow. Two eights, the eight of swords, Gemini energy, and then the eight of wands, Sagittarian energy. You want to break free. You feel trapped. Cancer, you feel really trapped in a situation. It's very tumultuous. It's very stressful. It's giving you a hell of a lot of anxiety. Uh, I do feel like it's someone that you are currently partnered with or working with or like on a team with. Someone you're trying to build with, but I feel like because it's so stressful and you feel so trapped, so stuck, they are just like, I need to build somewhere else. And you want to build with someone else. You want to build new somewhere else away from this person. And you do want to break free. And I feel like you will, Cancer. Overall, we do have the Seven of Wands, Leo energy defensive energy with the ace of pentacles in reverse this is interesting oh cancer whoever is making you feel like this they're blocking your abundance holy shit how's that even possible because they're keeping you trapped whatever i don't know how this person's trapping you it could be through money it could be through money or just making you crazy <laughs> just literally making you crazy and stressed out but because of that it's like you feel like <coughs> Excuse me. You feel like a lot of opportunities are out of your reach, and they kind of are because this person's keeping you stuck. This person's holding you back. It's time to break free from this cancer. For the, whoever's resonating with this, you better get these stones. I'm like, I'm not playing. You better get these stones because for some of you, there's there's also a sense of like psychic attack or like an ener energetic bond that really needs to be broken because it's making you crazy. You can't stay there anymore. Abundance is being blocked here. This person's trying really hard to keep you stuck. They're trying really hard. They're trying their damnedest to keep you stuck. So, Cancer, be mindful of that. God, that's rough. All right, so we got two more signs, Leo and then Virgo. Mm. Okay. Leos, my lions. Let's see where you guys are at. Okay. What crystals do my Leos need for the month of October? What crystals do my Leos need for the month of October? What crystals do my Leos need for the month of October? Oh, by the way, it's about to make a second video. I don't know why it does that um, for those who are new to my channel. So it's just going to lose a second. Okay. What crystals do my Leos need for the month of October? What crystals do my Leos need for the month of October? Are you cool as a cucumber, Leo? What crystals do my Leos need for the month of October? 
Leo. Ooh. Okay. What do we got here? Ooh. We have halite and lapis lazuli. This is a, a throat chakra um stone. What's that word? That's a throat a throat chakra stone. It's also about abundance. It's also about abundance. Leo, you could be thinking about your pentacles here or just your <clears throat> Your long-term security. Either way, it feels really positive. It actually feels very positive, Leo. No wonder it took a while to get crystals out here. Why do my um, any other crystals that my Leos need for the month of October? Any other crystals that my Leos need? Oh, that's it. That's it. It feels really promising, Leo. It does. It feels really, really, really good. So I'm kind of excited. Let's go ahead and break these down. I'm gonna read you halite. Okay. The Master Cleanser. Halite draws out impurities from your physical, energetic, and soul bodies. It dissolves old patterns, negative thoughts, and toxic emotions, promoting emotional well-being. Halite simulates the meridians and grounds the healing properties of other crystals as well. Uh, subtle ties and influences may be affecting you more than you recognize. Unacknowledged feelings of abandonment or rejection or emotional needi neediness may underlie dis-ease. Detrimental energies picked up under the influence of drinking or drugs could be affecting you. Ooh. As could someone else's lustful or jealous feelings. Oh, Leo. This is about your environment for sure. But being spaced out underground, it also leaves you open to invasion by external forces. It's time for a thorough clear out in your life. Declutter your space, including your car. Detox your body and mind and try a juice fast for vitality. Regular detox detoxing and purification on all levels ensures well-being as does being anchored on earth earthy it's great for the root the sacral the earth star and the solar plexus it's great for purification and spiritual discernment oh sorry i didn't realize it was blurry guys how light yeah leos it seems like you guys like i said are, i can feel it you're focused on your abundance you're focused on your abundance you're focused on your pentacles for some of you that just means career others it means your family other means your stability and it could be your environment that's been impeding your abundance from coming in here, okay? Or from being it the way you want it to be. Lapis Lazuli. Heavenly Wisdom. Lapis Lazuli wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are an immortal soul, soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement but may be hampered by outmoded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into past puts your present experience into perspective. You are a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insights. There is spiritual dis-ease. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from on high. Enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research is needed. Yours is the gift of true friendship and protect yourself. Attuning to your divine nature enhances your well-being. The frequency of this stone is very high. Great for the throat, the third eye, and the crown. Great for Sagis and for divine reconnection. Ooh, Leos. Okay. So let's go ahead and break these down with the tarot deck and see why you need these crystals, okay? Mm. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of October? Come on now. <laughs> Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of October? One more. Okay. Why do my Leos need these crystals? Ooh, Magician in Reverse, Mercurial Energy. Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius. Scorpio for me is a reader, Divine Masculine Energy. You're having trouble manifesting, Leo. You're having trouble making shit happen the way you want it to happen. You've got, you got some impediments here that you got to clear out, okay? But you're trying to manifest and you're just you're struggling. You're struggling to do that. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of October? I swear I heard somebody. Oh, Page of Swords. This is interesting. Why do I feel like... Do you have someone watching you? What is this? Hold on. I feel like someone's watching you. They've got kind of a smirk about them too. I don't like that. 
They're wa it's almost like they're watching you try, 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 and it's kind of like, oh, Leo. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like that. I don't like it. It's very immature. It's very petty. It's very petty. They're watching you trying to, like, build your abundance here. For some, it is also focused on family. And they're just like, oh, look at Leo try. It's very smug. That's what the word I'm looking for. It's very smug. I don't like it. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of October? Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy. You're going to have a light bulb moment, though, about your situation. It's also a spiritual expansion card or a spiritual growth card. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're going to figure out exactly how to handle this. High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. There's also secrets coming out. Your intuition could be telling you something, definitely about this person. This could also be re representing people, I can speak. Not just one person, but many people. And like I said, I do feel family energy around you. Either way, you're coming to a lot of knowledge here, and a lot of it is through intuition on why you can't manifest and what to do about it. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Leos need these crystals? Ooh. <laughs> Get the hell out of here is kind of what I'm getting with that. Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy with the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is you telling people what's what and saying, you know what? You don't need to be part of my stability. You don't need to be part of my household. Ooh, some of you are saying that. You don't need to be part of my business. Four of Wands is, a, is something that you build. Okay, it's a foundation that you put time and energy into. With it being in reverse, I feel like this is you basically saying what is not going to be a part of your foundation moving forward. Wow. And I feel like you're yelling at this person, whoever this is or who those people are. Some of you are telling your family off, honest to God. Some of you are telling your family off, your friends off, whoever's been judging you, whoever's been judging you and like watching you struggle. It's like, seriously, like, it's almost like they've been watching you in like a lake and you can't swim and you're struggling to stay afloat and they're like holding like the life raft and be like ha ha like it's, it's kind of like that energy it's very very smug why do my leos need these crystals yep there you are leo why do my leos need these crystals for the month of october oh more leo energy i love it yeah you're definitely just you're, you're speaking your truth and you're making moves oh perfect leo look at this King of Wands, Leo energy could also be fire or air with the strength card, Leo energy. You're taking control of the situation and you're taking action and you're making moves and you're speaking truth and being like, you're not going to be a part of this anymore. You're not a part of my life. You're not a part of my family. You're not a part of my home. You're not a part of my business because you realize that's exactly what you need to do. Yeah, you're telling people off and you're kicking people out of your life. One person or many people, no matter who they are to you. Overall energy, we do have the Hierophant, Taurian energy. You're learning a lot of lessons here, Leo. You're also following your intuition, which these uh, crystals will definitely help you with. And you're doing what you got to do for you, and you're sticking to your guns. I like it. I like it, Leo. It's very assertive. So no matter how shitty you feel now about the people who are giving you a hard time or just watching you struggle and just criticizing you and shit, you're eventually going to be cutting these people out because they don't serve you. Like what kind of like what kind of support is that it's not right it's not if anything it's just a hindrance okay virgos last but not least what crystals do my virgos need for the month of october what crystals do my virgos need for the month of october what crystals do my virgos need for the month of october What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of October? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of October? Okay. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of October? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of October? What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of October? Let's see here. Ooh, Virgo. I can't say this one, so I'm going to try. I'm going to give it the good old college try. Mukite? Mukite, Jasper, and Moldavite. Ooh, Virgos. You're going to be going through some transformation as well. Who else went through their transformation? Was it Taurus? And Cancer. Yeah, Taurus and Cancer, or was it Gemini? 
shit now i can't remember i've done so <laughs> i pulled so many cards but definitely virgo i feel like it's more of a rebirth though it almost feels like a big upgrade in who you are as a person i like it what other crystals do virgos need for the month of october a lot of you this is going to be um really amplifying your career really amplifying your career i feel like it's also building a lot of confidence for you yeah it's like you, it's almost like a like a phoenix rising energy like you're coming out so confident so confident and a lot stronger whatever transformation process you're going through okay what other crystals do my virgos need for the month of october what other crystals do my virgos need for the month of october that's it virgo so let's go ahead and read these and then we'll pull out the tarot cards So I'm not going to try to pronounce it again. <laughs> you guys can see how it's spelled. Uh, this kind of Jasper is the dream time. Balances inner and outer experiences and encourages versatility and openness to new experiences, helping you to choose the right path. A powerful being, you have roots that go far back into the past. What you dreamed, you created. Reap rewards or rectify imbalances. Turn failure into a learning experience and start again. Remember to offer friendship to assist others who read the same, who tread the same path. Your instinctive wisdom inspires them. Check your diet. Put your skills to use vigorously. Adventurous times lie ahead. Worry not, you are protected against deceit and enemies. Recognize your strengths. Stay positive and pragmatic. Reject unrealistic ideas. Avoid pride and despair. You have stamina. Wait patiently. If two courses of action are open, go for the straightforward one. A professional challenge, such as a job interview or presentation, is successful. You are what you eat. Good nutrition with wholesome organic foods sustain your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy to medium. It's great for the earth star, the root, and the sacral. Great for Leos and drawing on ancestral wisdom. Oh, I like it. I like it, Virgos. Like I said, you're, you're, it's going to make you more confident, whatever transformative process you're going through, okay? Moldavite, metamorphosis. Moldavite was created when a giant meteorite slammed into the Earth some 11 million years ago, fusing the power of the cosmos with that of Mother Earth. You are a child of the stars and find the environment of Earth heavy and inert. Moldavite raises your vibrations with inflating cosmic lights so that you feel more at home. You are on search for the inner grail awareness of your own divine origins release ingrained beliefs to make way for spiritual metamorphosis detach yourself from mundane issues you're going through a spiritual transformation so dramatic changes occur as you reach beyond your limits talk to your soul to check the outcome of present actions transcend time avoid sowing seeds of destruction fertility and good fortune await oh my god this reminds me the october reading i did for virgo yeah, we're gonna have some pregnant Virgos, I'm just saying. <laughs> you are far more than a physical body. Harmony at all levels creates your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for all the upper chakras and for Scorpios and integration of the physical and the spiritual. Virgos, I like it. I like it. Mm. I'm gonna need some tea after this. Okay, Virgos, let's see why you need these crystals. Why do my Virgos need these crystals in the month of October? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of October? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of October? my virgos need these crystals for the month of october okay oh too many too many too many why do my virgo okay <laughs> i've been doing that lately and then they just spit them right back out at me Ugh, virgo ten of cups in a verse piscean energy with the six of pentacles in a verse taurian energy knight of wands in a verse sag energy could also be aries early i just heard you're not really here so i just heard virgo you're not really here. I do feel like this is a home environment. It doesn't have to be, but I'm getting strong, strong family or home environment is very unhappy, very imbalanced. I just heard oppressive. And it's like, you don't even want to be there. Your mind isn't there. <laughs> your, your mind isn't there. You could also be dealing with someone who's not very loyal to the home environment or the family environment. Either way, 
it's an unhappy place for those that are resonating with this it's an unhappy place and you don't want to be there anymore you don't want to be there anymore you don't want to deal with it why do my virgos need these crystals for the month of october Ooh, king of swords in reverse aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra i do feel a little of a selfish energy here what is this <sighs> yeah i feel manipulator i feel manipulative energy with this i feel like this is the person that you are experiencing this energy with okay i feel like there are multiple people involved in this not just you and this person but for those where it is just two people then you know that that's just two people but this is who you're sharing this experience with they're a little manipulative and a little controlling a little narky i gotta be honest a little narky one of my Virgos need these crystals for the month of October. I just heard I want better. I want better. I want better. And you deserve better. Wow, that's it, Virgo. Overall energy, we have the Four of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. Eight of Wands in reverse underneath that, Sag energy. You're exhausted by this situation. You're mentally exhausted. You can barely even think about it anymore. There's a lot of miscommunication happening between you and this person. When you guys talk, I don't feel like there's a lot of talking going on. But when there's talking, it's miscommunication and it just drains you. It drains you. This person zaps you of your energy. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a narcissist, but not necessarily. Um, but I'm just getting that energy vamp vampiric, you know, kind of situation here for some of you. But it's exhausting and you're tired of it. You're tired of it. You don't even want to be there you don't even want to be there you want better for yourself and you do deserve better some of you this is just about breaking away with these crystals it's just about breaking away and transforming your life because you do deserve better you're not going to deal with a manipulative energy you're not going to deal with someone who just wants to drain you and have arguments with you it's almost like this person knows you're tired and knows that you really don't want to be in this situation but anytime there's a conversation it's like they know how to prolong the conversation. They know how to drain your energy so that you're just like, oh, fuck it, I'm just done talking. Let's just not talk about it anymore. And then go back to dinner or go back to watching TV or going back to taking care of the kids or whatever it is. Um, but you don't want to be there anymore, Virgo. You don't want to be there anymore. I feel this person's also a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not that they're not predictable. They're actually quite predictable. They're actually quite predictable, Virgo, which I think is also why you're exhausted by the situation. You just know that, like, no matter what you say, it's not going to go anywhere. They're not going to hear Thank you. They're not going to hear you. They're not going to hear you. They're not going to care about your concerns. But yeah, it, and it's not that it's unpre unpredictable. This person might have a little bit of a mean streak. They might have a little bit of a mean streak here. To where you really don't want to deal with them. Like, it gets real draining if you tap into that mean streak. Either way, Virgo, I think it's very clear. If you don't want this and the other person doesn't want this, they want it not in the way you want it. Put it that way. That's kind of what I'm getting. They like having this situation with you. They just wish it was more balanced. But it's imbalanced because you don't like how manipulative they are and how controlling they are. Creating an imbalanced environment. You're just freaking exhausted and you're tired of talking about it with this person. Virgo, I think it's very clear what you need to do here. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I think it's very clear for whoever's resonating with this. And these are your two crystals, Virgo. Just putting them up one more time because I can't pronounce that one. But there it is for your eyeballs to see. <laughs> okay virgos i hope you guys enjoyed that and along with all the other signs i hope everyone enjoyed this video and i hope that uh you guys found it helpful insightful whether you have these crystals or gonna go out and get them for yourself okay i hope you guys have a really great october and i'll po probably post part two hopefully by tomorrow on the first of october hopefully if not then definitely by the second okay all right virgos i not virgos everybody sorry we're ending on virgo so virgo i'm still in your energy i'm still in your head okay i hope you guys have a really great month and i'll see you all later have a great night guys namaste